Hi guys, my name is Matthias and I'm with Mollify. With Mollify, you can turn your Excel files into web applications. And today I want to show you how you can create this application you see here from a blank Excel sheet. So this is going to be a tutorial which is going to be very easy to follow along. It's going to explain how Mollify reads the Excel file. It's going to explain uh, what you need to do to create inputs, outputs uh, and charts and also how to create a background image for your application. Uh, all right, so let's get into it. Let's start building the app by creating some inputs. My first input is going to be named input one like that and it's going to have the value of five to tell Mollify that this is an input I'm coloring the cells standard green when you create inputs in Mollify it's important to know how Mollify reads the Excel file Mollify reads the Excel file from left to right and from top to bottom to create one input you usually need three cells like this where the first cell is the name of the input, the second cell is the input itself or the value, the third cell is the UI cell of the input. And here you can type things such as slider, for instance, if you want your input to become a slider instead of a numeric box. But uh, we'll get to that later on. Now I'm going to create my second input and I could either put, place that here in these three cells or here as Mollify reads the file from left to right and top to bottom. I'm going to go with this option and name my input input2. Two. Input2 two is going to have the value of 10. Once again I'm going to color my uh, input green to tell Mollify that this is in fact an input. To create an output, I'm going to start by naming it, and the name of the output will be uh, the result. And it's going to be a simple equation, just 5 times 10, so 50. To tell Mollify that this is in fact an output, I'm going to color these cells red like that. Okay, so now the app is done, but we want to do one more thing before we upload this file to Mollify. We want to give the file an ID and the ID is going to be my Molnify app ENG and I'm also going to name the app so I'll type name here my Molnify app okay so to turn this these cells into metadata that Molnify reads and understands as ID and name I want to highlight hi highlight all of these cells and color them standard purple Actually, I'm going to turn the text uh, color white so it's easier to read. Okay, now I save my Excel file and then I'm going to head on over to the Mollify back office page. I'm going to go over to the left here and click Upload Excel file. Uh, we'll, I will get my file from my folder on my computer, drop it here and click Start. Now the Excel file is uploaded and the app is ready. I can click go to app and I can see my new app. Input 1, 5, input 2, 10, and the result 50, just like in the Excel file. If I change this to 25, the result will change instantaneously to 250. You can also press the plus and minus sign here and go up and down. So what about the UI cell and slider? Well, let's say I want to turn input 2 into a slider instead of, instead of this numeric box. To do that, I'll go back to the Excel file and I'll just place myself in the UI cell of the second input and I'll type slider. Hit enter, click save. And when I now come back to my Mollify application, you can see that there's a little Mollify logo over here. That is because I am the owner of this application. If I click this, I get this sidebar. And here it says drop Excel file here or click to upload. That means I can just take my file and drag it over here and it will upload and update the application automatically. Once done, you can see that now 
I have a slider here which I can use to change the value of the second input. Okay, let's also add a searchable list to this application. To do that, I'll go back to the Excel file once again and I'm going to create a list of uh, months. And Molnify works with uh, data validation lists, but the only thing you need to think about is that you have to name the range. It doesn't work with cell references. So to turn this into a data validation list that Molnify can understand and read, you want to select the items that go into your list and then place yourself up here in the name box. I'm going to name this range months. So I will type months and then I'll hit enter. So to create the list, first I want to name the input. So I'll type pick a month. And in this cell, I want to have the uh, list itself. So I'll go up to data validation, click that. And I want to allow list here. The source is going to be the named range. So equals months like that. And then I'll click OK. And now I have my list here. To turn this into an input, once again, I'll just color this green like that. If I save, go back to the Molify application and upload the Excel file. Once uploaded, you're going to see that now we have a drop down list here, which is searchable. So if I type JU, for instance, I get June and July. And I can also choose those. But maybe I want to show the result here amongst the output boxes. I'll head back to the Excel file and I'll create another output. So uh, month. I could just do this. Uh, cell reference to uh, the cell with the list. And if I turn that red, that will become an output. But it's not that nice to have a zero here. So I want to add some Excel logic here. So I'll place myself here and I'll just type if C5 equals nothing then print out two lines otherwise print out whatever is in c5 so if there's nothing in this box it will display two lines like that and if there's a month here you will see the month i'll save the file once again head over to moldify get my excel file from my folder drag it over and once uploaded i can pick a month and i can see the results over here Let's add some more logic to this. I want to give all of these months here a value. So I'll just create some random values by using the function ran between. Let's run between 0 and uh, 500. All right, 63. I'll send this down. Uh, actually, I'm going to copy these, right click, and then save, uh, paste as only values. So we will remove the formula. So there. There's only the values left here now. Uh, and here I'll type monthly value. So to get a value here, I want to use a VLOOKUP function. So I'll type VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, whatever is in this box. Look that up over here from the second column, and it's going to be an exact match. Now it's going to say NA because there's no month uh, chosen here. So I'm going to put an if error wrapper around this. So if error. And if there's an arrow, type, I, type out two lines. All right, great. I'm going to turn this into an output by coloring the cell red once again. And then hit save. I'll head on over to the Molnify app. I'll get my file, drag it over, upload it, and once done, let's close the sidebar. You can see that we have another output box here which says uh, monthly value. And if I pick a month, the VLOOKUP function executes and you will see the value of the month. All right, cool. I think I also want to have a pie chart in this application, so I'm going to go ahead and create that. Uh, let's just type values and then percentages. And the first value is going to be input one. Second one will be input two. And 
this value here is going to be 5 divided by the sum of the two inputs. And the second one will be 10 divided by the sum of both inputs. Oops, like that. I think I'm going to take the decimal places down a notch like that. All right, so to turn this into a chart now, we use the color blue. And you want to use standard blue for this. So I'm coloring the cells blue, and I'm going to turn the text white so it's easier to read. And uh, now you can see that these two cells, they, they sum up to, to 1. So Molnify will guess that you probably want to see this as a pie chart. So if I take my app and I upload it, once it's updated, you can see that now we have a nice pie chart here, which is also very interactive like this. So if I pull my slider, you can see that the value changes. Maybe I also want to have a bar chart in the application. I'll head over to the Excel file once again. And uh, yeah, maybe I want to see all of my months as a bar chart. So I'll paste those in here. I'll type months. This will be the name of the chart. And then value. And the value will be, let's say it's going to be this cell here. I'm going to lock that in place. Uh, times the value of the month. And I'm going to send that down like that. Maybe I don't need any decimal places here, so I'll just remove those. Uh, I'll color these cells blue, the text white. And since this does not sum up to 1, Mollify is going to presume that you would like to have a bar chart here. So if I click my sidebar, get the file and drag it over. Once updated, you will see that now you also have a bar chart here which is also interactive, just like the pie chart. One last thing I want to show you is that you can very easily modify the look of your uh, Mollify application. You can do that by either uh, writing CSS code directly into the Excel file, or you can use uh, metadata commands to, for instance, change the color of the panel headings like this, and the background image, and uh, the logo, and so on. And for this demo, I'm going to add a background image. I'm going to head over to unsplash.com. Here you can find a lot of nice uh, images which are free to use. And I'm going to type uh, city. And this looks like a nice image uh, of uh, New York. So I'm going to right click this image and pick uh, copy the URL to the image. I'll go back to my Molify application and here I'll type background image URL. In the next cell to the right, I'll just paste the URL of the image. I want to turn these two cells now into metadata. So I'll copy the format from a cell above, save the file, and then head back to the Molify application, get my Excel file, drag it over to the sidebar. And once uploaded, you can see that now we have a beautiful background image of New York City. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you head on over to app.molnify.com, you can register a free trial account. It's uh, going to be free for 30 days and you can start uploading your own Excel files as Molnify applications and share them with uh, colleagues or customers. Uh, what you also can do is you can check out our example and demo applications that we have here. Here we have a ton of applications that you can uh, you can uh, use and uh, none of them has taken uh, more than an hour to create. There's lots of different uh, examples here on this page uh, which you can try out for free of course. If you want to see the underlying Excel file please don't hesitate to send me an email at info at mollify.com and I can send the file to you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, do send me that email. Have a nice day. Bye bye.